When I was a little baby, I got baptized by a Christian church. I couldn't remember how that worked. And when I was a teenager, I became a confirmee. Did I do it? I read books about Buddhism. Then I had a book about Japanese Shinto. And then I met Shintoists in Germany. They came from Japan. And so I became a Shintoist somehow. But I left that movement and maintained an internet site, Shintoist.com, for many years. I'm still doing it. So far, the Christian church did a good job to conceal viable information about Judaism. Well, they made it appear like it was outdated because of what they called the New Testament, because it was written there, and I found out this New Testament doesn't work. Sorry, I found out quite late. I was over 50 years old, and it was only last year that I got reliable information about what's called the flat earth theory and the firmament in the heaven and I did my own research that this was written in what's called the Old Testament and that this Old Testament especially where I live in Germany looks quite corrupted as a very bad translation with very evil modifications in it. It only happens to be a translation. The corrupt the translation, however, ended up in what's called the Holy Bible. And I'm telling you, unholy Bible would be the right name for this. So what was it that Christians were thinking when they were reading this German edition of the Bible? Translated after Martin Luther. And in the first book of Moses, in chapter 3, they were reading in verse 15, Der soll dir den Kopf zertreten und du wirst ihm in die Ferse stechen. And roughly translated that means that uh, he should step on its head and crush it and you, beziehungsweise, he shall step on your head and crush it. And that means the head of your descendants in this case and you will uh, sting into his heel that means in this case he will be your descendants and in this case you means the snake the serpent or rather the descendants from the serpent they get their heads crushed and after this they will sting into his heel and so how could they sting when the heads get crushed they couldn't procreate and they get extinct they won't be even there anymore so what were they thinking these people that were reading it christians you know, huh? and in the english translation we see that seed shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. What were they thinking when they were reading this? Oh, that's boring. Because this text sounds like old uh, and therefore outdated. Because that seed shall bruise thy head. That's an outdated word. And though that's an outdated word too, word too, shall bruise his heel. So you see, outdated stuff. People don't pay attention to this corrupted text here. To this outdated text there. You know? And in the end, they're not thinking at all. Yep, that also happened to me when I was young. I didn't think. I grabbed books about Buddhism. I read them. I got hooked. Well, I tried to dig deeper, find out if there are books where Christians are telling how they have left Christianity. Couldn't find any book. This probably only happens because I like free ebooks. And I'm not looking for anything else. <laughs> they have to be free, so <laughs> I'll bring this thing further on my own with the information I have already gotten. And now I realize it could be philosophy, okay? Religion one step, philosophy another. That's a two step procedure. So my philosophy, anyway, has to be based on existentialism. I was interested to get a 
uh, Cryonix contract, but I failed because I hadn't have the money. I still don't have the money, and I'm not so easily insurable. When it's existential, then I say, okay, I live, and then I have to expand on this. When I'm thinking about it, then I could say, I live because my parents made me, and therefore I'm thinking. And now I have my own religion, I call it Kaid Shintoist religion, and now I have my own philosophy. Isn't that something? <laughs> Yesterday was a special day in Germany called Allerheiligen, translated All Saints. And I don't know what that means. As a Kaid Shintoist, I keep a low profile. Well, what a good luck for me. I got Saturday and today I can wait for Saturday night. Feverishly fevering for Saturday night. Whoa, Saturday night. Guess what? I've not eaten one crumb, whatever, today. I've not even drank something today. I'm just feverishly waiting. With activities uh, like praying praying to an angel probably hmm I could <laughs> This German edition of the Bible doesn't look like brand new condition. So I don't need to feel ashamed for modifying it a little bit. So I have to find it as only the partial Holy Scriptures, since it happens to be a translation and not the original. It's the right and the wrong testament. The right one, the old one. And the wrong one, the new one. Regarding the new testament, we don't have this one as the right one.
So I'm starting with the Old Testament, the real okay, one. From Genesis 1 to Genesis 4, I'm learning to adapt to the Holy Break. That happens during the seventh day of creation. And then I'm going to Genesis 5. Less. I've written the word final here. Made three points here, three points here, the one in the middle. To honor the seventh day of creation, the holy, yes, holy day. In, in any case, I honor the law. And I scratch with a nail, a metallic nail, made of steel, into this metallic ring, probably also made of steel. The words never lie. Yesterday, there was the 21st of December. It was a Saturday, and my wife needed me to go shopping with her. What? These Christian people, they are wrong. They should keep the Sabbath day in theoretical ways. Because, you know, it works out like this. My wife yesterday asked me to go shopping and I had to travel with her. My son traveled with her. They liked doing it, buying Xmas gifts, even a little Xmas tree. Okay, I even don't know what kind of tree or maybe bush that could be. And in the 24th of December, there will be no winter solstice. And that was the reason why they celebrated that Xmas celebration in the first place. Huh? Therefore, they have the 24th. And in the old days, the 24th of December marked the day where there was no winter solstice in any case. And they could celebrate their friggin' sun god idol. That's what they did. And today they are subconsciously celebrating their sun god idol again. And they have this fictional character in what they call, you know, the New Testament. And this fictional character happens to be their sun god idol named Jesus Christ. It isn't that bad. But in the evening, yesterday evening, when my family and me were sitting at the table and they eat their pork meat, even they invited a guest and he ate that pork meat too, it becomes apparent practically people like me couldn't keep the Sabbath day holy. Suddenly I didn't eat meat like the others did. I'm eating vegetables, fridge full of it. Yes. I know. And they like to do the shopping on Saturday. Bad thing. It doesn't work with, you know, keeping the Sabbath day holy. No, they should stay away from it just to honor those people who can actually do it. Regarding these 10 commandments, in reality, of course, 10 matters because the Israelites, in any case, who are the blessed people who get these commandments, they have you know, these as the 10 matters, you know, and therefore there are more than 10 commandments, and these 10 matters are very important, and therefore, you know, they got them before they got further commandments. And of highest importance happens to be the first matter. You know, and that means have no other gods, have no other idols. And therefore, you know, I have changed my religion. So I want to stay away from that stuff. From idolism.